Hi my friend, this is Semiakku. Now I will show you how to create little stylized vector animal figures. I must state clearly in advance that I am not an illustrator software expert. Indeed, I will transfer the knowledge of processing and the tools I am using. But I want you to understand the exact point is not related to software and its tools. No matter what software and material you are working in, the way of reflecting an object as clear and properly are to have some knowledge of the basic visual art principles. Therefore, in this video I am going to focus on that idea. Before turning it to vector, I create my sketch with colors and details in Photoshop. Photoshop is quite comfortable than Illustrator to start a new design. When it is roughly enough, I export it into Illustrator. At this point, the first thing is adding lines on the edge values of lights and colors. In a drawing, edge values are very important. If your edges of the shape are not sharp enough, it makes a blue effect, reduces the clarity of details, and takes the object out of the focal point. I define the edge of even the weakest light surface, avoiding excessive detail. For now, I leave the line tips open but I'm trying to make sure the lines around the shape cross over each other. It will make the process easier while I'm using the shape builder tool afterward. If you don't know about the shape builder tool, I recommend you learn from other successful tutorial videos. I will try to attach one in the description part. Let's not forget that every color tone or black and white value on the drawing has an edge value, whether sharp or soft. Therefore, we can think that a character or an object consists of puzzle pieces that are related to each other according to the density of details. Considering these parts from the general to the details during the design makes the process easier. This situation may not be noticed intensely in pixel-based drawing, but we can show the bird's eye map drawing as an example to work their drawing in its simplest form. The floor is drawn as a large piece and smaller pieces are added to it as color light tones. This creates the illusion of a building rising upwards in the 2D plane. While talking about the edge value, let me briefly talk about the form parts consisting of the edge values. If the design you have prepared is related to a child drawing concept as in the image, the form consists of shapes with less detailed and rounded corners. This style of drawing allows the content to be pursued more easily by children and it doesn't contain sharp corners and allows it to appeal to children's sensitivity in a more new way with its soft energy. The Shape Builder tool also has the feature of converting the middle space of intersecting parts into one piece. By clicking on the shape panels formed by the intersecting lines, I perform the painting and filling process, paying attention to the contrast values.
since Illustrator doesn't have a bright sensitive painting feature like Photoshop, I try to prepare the colors of the parts one by one based on the reference drawing in harmony. In this section, I will talk about a method I discovered through my own experience to create a dimensional and fluid effect on vector drawing with the taste of pixel painting. That's why I put the software in the background at the beginning of the video. The software offers you many possibilities, and when you know what to do, you can achieve it somehow. The object is selected with all its parts, grouped and copied above in the Layers section. It is combined with the Merge tool, as long as no splinters are formed. A shape is obtained from the general form of the entire object. If there is a splinter, you can easily clean it after applying the separate object option. A box is drawn under this shape to cover the entire object and convert it to a clipping mask with the general shape of the upper object. We will add lights with soft edge values to the square box we have drawn with the mesh tool. The reason I added a square box is that the mesh tool can be processed more simply on this geometry. Finally, if desired, very small pieces of worn paper or splash painting effects can be used by including them in the clipping mask above.
this is semi accurate. I hope it has been a useful resource. It will be supportive if you show your likes by subscribing and giving thumbs up. Hope to see you in the next video.